Thanks for tuning into Dirty Teeth and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic of discussion, sunglasses. I'm making this video for two reasons. Number one, I get a lot of questions about the eyewear and sunglasses I use for bikepacking and mountain biking in general. Number two, I wanna shine some light on a lesser known brand that in my mind deserves recognition for their generous and inspiring business model. More on that in a moment. We all know there's many options and mucho competition in the cycling eyewear universe these days. And if you ask me, the trend is getting goofier and goofier with these huge glasses the size of full frame helmets. Okay, I'm getting off track. You've got those traditional high-end brands like Smith, Oakley, and Pac, and whoever else is making crystal clear optics. And then you've got those like Pit Viper making the stylish cool glasses for the hip kids. For years, I've been wearing sun clouds. They make high quality polarized sunglasses for about 50 bucks. And they happen to be owned by Smith. I've had great luck with both their cycling glasses and their daily drivers. When you ride a lot and beat up your gear the way I do, it's a lot easier to stomach losing or breaking a $50 pair of glasses versus a $200 pair. Or heaven forbid you scratch or drop your prized chroma pop or prism lenses. Ouch. Although I still vouch for SunCloud, a while back I gave DOS Optics a try. After well over a year of abusing these glasses, I'm giving them a solid thumbs up. Before I get into the details, I wanna tell you a little about the company and how I got introduced to them. It's actually a pretty cool story. DOS Optics is a family-run operation based in the Teton Valley of the state I happen to live in, Idaho. The name comes from their family dog, DOS, who they named after their favorite ski run at Grand Targhee, their local resort. The run is called DOS Boat, which I believe derives its name from the awesome early 80s German submarine war movie, DOS Boot, but I'm not sure. So that's why I'm pronouncing it DOS. Maybe it's DAS. I'm gonna stick with DOS. Anyway, if you head over to the DOS Optics website, the first thing that hits you is their motto, sunglasses for good. Now we're talking. Long story short, Chris bought a salsa cutthroat and watched some of my videos for ideas on how to set it up, and he later contacted me about trying out some sunnies. I don't even think he knew about our trail magic initiatives or how we leverage money generated through our Patreon to offer small acts of kindness to unsuspecting folks. On a side note, if you don't know about our trail magic initiatives, I'll link to a video that explains it all below. Anyway, his business model goes hand in hand with our vision for making trail magic and our motto, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. For every pair of sunglasses you purchase, they'll donate 10 bucks to any club, team, organization, or nonprofit of your choice. How rad is that? What's even better is the sunglasses themselves range in price from only about 30 to 50 bucks. So a pretty big chunk of your dough is being paid forward to an effort of your choice that you're passionate about. But even with all that goodness, I still had to test these puppies out and give them a legitimate thrashing before I could recommend them in good conscience. So here we are. These are the Sendies version 2.0 and they're what I've been testing. By the way, my daughter Molly has been enjoying the kids version aptly called the Grom and my wife is constantly borrowing the bamboo daily drivers. So those are now hers. Happy wife, happy life. I've already mentioned the super reasonable price tag of all their eyewear and that 10 bucks of every purchase goes towards the cause of your choice. But are they really worth it? I think so. The Sendies come with multiple lens options, including clear, blue, yellow, polarized, and this rainbowish mirrored lens. The process to swap lenses is fairly easy and definitely on par with other similar systems. I swapped between the polarized and the clear every night on the Iditarod. It was fast and easy, even with gloves on at negative 20 degrees. There's a fun how-to video you can watch with Grady taking you through the process. They also ship with a hard case and a soft pouch, which is thoughtful. The Sendies are very lightweight and surprisingly comfy. I like adjustable nose pads, which some of my higher end glasses have, but even with a fixed rubber nose pad, these fit fine. Even after long days in the saddle, they stay in place and I've had no discomfort. I've had problems with getting headaches from other glasses in the past due to tight fitting temples. These don't cause any pain or headaches and fit well over my ears or beanies or balaclavas and they haven't stretched or gotten loose. The straight temple tips also aid in getting them on and off with different helmets and headwear, and so far they've played well with all my different gear. The frames have proven durable, and so have the lenses. I've used this mirrored lens almost all of the time and haven't scratched it yet. I just clean it regularly with soap and water, wipe it with a cloth, and they're good to go. No, they probably don't have the vibrancy or crystal clarity of the super high dollar brands, but I feel they're on par with my sun clouds, which is all I can ask for this price point. Trust me, 
If I didn't feel they were up to the task, I wouldn't be wasting your time with this video or taking them on expeditions like the Iditarod. I thought about purchasing some Smith Wildcats or Oakley Sutros for that trip, but I've been truly content with these. I brought up my only true con with Chris a while back, and it isn't even really a con. Randomly, we were both riding JP's gravel pursuit at a similar pace. He recognized me as Dirty Teeth, he introduced himself, and we started chatting. At the time, I was wearing this older pair of Smith Pivlocks, which are rimless. When I'm in the drops or the aero bars of my gravel bike, I prefer rimless glasses because of the lower head position. I don't have to raise my head or crane my neck as high to glance around the frame. I can just raise my eyes up and keep my head relaxed. So I save the sendies for use with my flat bar bikes where my head is more upright. Like I said, it's not really a criticism, but I won't be using these for gravel riding. My main reason for bringing it up is just a subtle plea for them to maybe make a rimless option one of these days, just throwing it out there. With that said, I can't think of a single compelling reason not to give DOS Optics or Sendies a try next time you're in the need of some sunglasses. The price is right, the quality is right, and they give back to an organization of your choice. What could be better? On that note, if you do make an order and you want to support this channel and what we're about, simply write in Dirty Teeth or Trail Magic Monday, and Chris will make sure your contribution gets to us. Super duper win win win. Anywho, all the pertinent links are in the description. Don't forget to say hi or ask questions in the comment section. And if you found this video worthwhile, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.